Howdy, uh, Tony here again in East Windsor, Connecticut. Uh, had a very sad turn of events. Uh, further down this way is where Jonathan Edwards was born. And I had the GPS coordinates for the birth marker. You know, the historic marker it says Jonathan Edwards was born here. And had the GPS coordinates from Tony Ranke's website. I drove past it. Drove past it again, found some uh, guys standing out in their yard at the end of the road, and I said, uh, I believe I'm in the right place, and he pointed back up and said, you need to go back towards the stop sign and look about two houses back. Well, I did that, and when I did that, I found a, uh, a five-gallon bucket sitting over top of a concrete um, uh, some concrete that had been poured with a pole sticking out of it and no Jonathan Edwards uh, birth marker. So I don't know what's going on. While I was standing there, there was a lady drove by and she said, uh, what are you doing? And I said, I'm looking for Jonathan Edwards. And she said, we are too. We don't know what happened to him. Uh, the other guy, he said that the marker's been there his whole life since he was a kid. And uh, just a couple days ago, um, it disappeared. So he graciously said that he would call me back he would give me a call uh, when he goes out and walks his dog every day and see if the marker gets put back up uh, before I'm scheduled to leave and go back home. Uh, so that's probably um, maybe quarter of a mile, third of a mile up the road is where Jonathan Edwards was born. Well, right here, we are at the cemetery. And I'll read this to you. It says Timothy Edwards, 1669 to 1758, father of Jonathan Edwards, birth pastor of the Second Church of Windsor, established at Windsor Farms in 1694, which formerly stood immediately north of this burying ground, in which he and his wife Esther Stoddard are buried. And then we make our way over here to this one. Let's see if I can get it in the picture a little bit better. Jonathan Edwards, 1703 to 1758, born at East Windsor, died at Princeton, New Jersey, pastor and theologian, tutor in Yale College, president college of New Jersey, and one of the leading one of the leaders in the Great Awakening, the first spontaneous movement in the religious life of the American people. So I'm going to go in here and see if I can find the grave for Jonathan's parents, his mom and dad, Timothy and Esther. 